And then for the hamstrings, that's going to require a bisection of the gracilis. So again, want to use the probe as the marker, make the cut, reflect the muscle, and reveal. So the hamstrings are made of three primary muscles. The one here on the bottom, so you can see that there is this muscle here. Here, that's. So this muscle here, and then this muscle here. So the one that is a part of the hamstring is the bottom one. That's the semimembranosus. All right, so this muscle here. All right. Now, for the other two muscles that are a part of the hamstring, one is going to be this really broad muscle, <clears throat> the biceps femoris which runs along the side. And then if I turn the cat over to the dorsal side, um, the other is going to be the um, semitendinosis. And so to see the semitendinosis, I'm actually gonna need to create a boundary between the biceps femoris and the semitendinosis. So I've kind of marked out where that division is with the probe. And so I'm just going to follow that. and then confirm the separation. All right, so I'm gonna take this up just a little bit more. So we made that cut, and that's gonna be one of the boundary cuts for our semitendinosis, which um, is here. All right, so the other boundary point is really in the medial portion of the leg, so um, dorsal and medial on the back of the leg. And so here's the other. And so what I'm going to do is just use the probe again as a guide and follow this cut or the separation all the way to the top. All right, so if the tail can get out of the way there, maybe I can lift it up. You can see this is the semitendinosus. All right, so the three muscles that make up the hamstring, we have the biceps femoris here on the side, the semitendinosus here, and then you can kind of see the semimembranosis um, from the dorsal view, but the ventral view is far better. And it is the bottom muscle here. All right, so those three muscles make up the hamstring.